Hello guys, this is Manny from Marroquin Designs and today I'm gonna show you how to make a river table with epoxy. This is a MDF panel and we use this MDF panel to put the slabs on top and prevent from leaks. And we use it too to make everything straight and level. And here I'm cutting the MDF panel, the leftover. So I'm gonna use it for the ends of the table. This one works to prevent from leaks and keep all the epoxy on place. Now this step it's to set up everything before you start working on the epoxy. Make sure everything fits perfectly and then mark where is gonna be the slabs and the epoxy because you, you're gonna need to make holes to screw the slab and the MDF like so. After you made the holes, clean it very good in vacuum and then apply tape. It's a regular tape you can buy from Walmart or Home Depot. This is to prevent to stick the epoxy and the MDF together. Works like repellent and use the cheapest you can. Now on this step, use regular silicone. You don't have to buy the fancy or the expensive one. This is to prevent from leaks after you put the slab and the MDF together. They're gonna stick really good and it's gonna seal all the edge. So when you apply the epoxy, it won't leak. So here is now time to set up everything and then after you set up the slab with the MDF put some screws underneath to hold the slab and the MDF together then flip it and put the rest of the screws. Now on this part, you need to stick with silicone the wall with the slab and the MDF panel on both ends, like so. and use any type of clamps to tie it really good. Now here, I'm using the base because I need something perfectly flat and level because after you drop the epoxy on the MDF, you need to level it everything perfectly. So I'm using my base. Now here, I'm just adding silicone right on the border of the edge. You need to go up like a quarter inch because when you add the epoxy, you need to go above the surface 
more than one eighth or maximum one quarter. Now with mineral spirit, you have to clean all the edge where it's gonna be the epoxy. Clean it really good from dust or grease. Now here it's time to mix the cedar epoxy to seal all the wood where it's gonna be the epoxy, like so. On this step, I use a brush and sealer epoxy to seal all the border of the edge. This prevent if you have a small cracks on the slabs, you prevent from leaks from liquor epoxy. Now after you apply the sealer epoxy, you need to pop up all the bubbles with the torch. Now after you let it cure for 24 hours, the sealer epoxy, now it's time to work with epoxy. So this epoxy, you can go by coat by inch, one inch to two inches maximum. And here, my customer, they want me to go with the first coat with color and then the rest with clear clear.
On each code, you need to let it dry for maximum 72 hours, minimum 24 hours. It depends what kind of products you are using. And never forget to pop up the, the bubbles with the torch. And here's another coat with crystal clear epoxy. Now, after 72 hours dry or cure, it's time to remove all the MDF panels. And then you have to remove too all the silicone around the epoxy. Now here it's time to remove all the silicone from the epoxy and the slab. Now here you need to remove all the excess epoxy with a big router. It needs to be something powerful. This router is three and a half horsepower. I'm using a three inches router bit. And 
this step, I'm using a pencil to mark where I need to sand the table and this prevent for missing spot. Those are the sandpapers I'm gonna use for sanding. 60, 80, 120, 220, 320, grid. After you finish sanding, clean it really good for the last step, the finish. Here I'm using a matte finish. This is a water base. So what I'm trying to keep is the most natural color on the wood. This is the result of the river dining table already installed in my customer house. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you very much to watch my videos. Have a blessing day. Bye bye.